All right guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about square bill fishing, uh, the baits I like to use, and when I like to use them and what I look for when I'm throwing a square bill. As you can see right here today, we're, we're fishing a little bit of a rocky bank around a bridge. You know, anytime I can find rip wrap, uh, you know, any kind of shoreline structure that I think I can parallel and the fish are going to be setting up on, you know, a square bill is one of the main baits that I want to pick up and try and try and see if I can get a few bites on. And the first one that I'm going to go to pick up 90% of the time is the ARC CT 3-5. Three, three to five. And basically what that means is this, this bait's going to crank down to 3 foot to 5 foot depending on what size line you use. Uh, in this situation right here, I'm throwing it on 16 pound Sunline Shooter fluorocarbon. Uh, it's going to make this bait run, you know, 3.5 to 4 feet deep, which is ideal for this, this rock situation we got. These rocks come off into about 8. So where I'm going to be cast in parallel in the bank is going to be in that, you know, four to five feet range where my bait's just going to be bouncing off a rock here and there. You know, as far as color combinations and when I want to throw a certain color, it just really depends on what area of the country I'm in. Like right now we're down here in Florida and I'm throwing more of a bluegill, you know, orange color in mixed in with it. If I were to be up north or, you know, in the Alabama region, the Carolinas, I'd probably be picking up a shad pattern or more of a crawl pattern or red uh, during the winter shad when you get on into the spring and the fall. But, you know, I always go back to the, the ARC CTs. Uh, we've got the three to five and then the five to seven. The five to seven is going to be a little bit bigger size bait with a little bit bigger bill to make that bait get down a little bit deeper. Um, you know, these baits come out of the package with Mustad triple grip hooks on them. And again, you're just, we're trying to parallel as much as we can. You know, I, I keep my rod tip out. I want the bait running in line with the bait more than I want to you don't, want to, you don't want to just go down the bank and reel it right back to you because you're, you're only in the strike zone for a little bit of time to where if you kind of 45 and parallel it, most of the time the fish are going to be sitting you know, a few feet off the bank and you want to keep that bait in the strike zone as long as you can.